This is the absolute nightmare okay. scenario that people like you and I have been talking about for a very, very long time. Our current system leaves itself wide open for terrorists to hurtle head through it. Yeah, I, shocking, absurd, really, when, when you think about it. I, I, not so long ago, Patrick, you, you had me on discussing Shamima Begum. And there we were saying, no, because of the threat she poses, links with ISIS and everything, we were saying uh, she shouldn't be allowed back. And here we are now, not only letting in people and putting them up and making them comfortable, but in addition to that, giving them £45 a week pocket money mm. so they can roam about freely uh, to spend it how they wish. It, it just, you couldn't make it up. I, I'm no, you couldn't. really shocked. But, but also, a lot of people initially, there was pushback. They were saying, well, every single person who's coming here across the channel is fleeing war. All of these people are fleeing war. Then it emerged that loads of them were Albanian or from other countries and they weren't fleeing war at all. And then they go, well, what about all of the ones that come from war-torn countries? Five of the known terror suspects who arrived last year are Iraqi, five are Iranian, four are Afghani, four are from Somalia, and one is from Libya. So even when people are coming from countries that are known to have desperately bad human rights conditions, war, terror groups, etc., this doesn't mean that those people are fleeing war. According to this report, it means that some of them might be responsible for it. Well... <laughs> They're not fleeing war if they're coming from France, that's, that's for sure. Uh, although I know there's been a few demonstrations, but that uh, hardly constitutes a war. Uh, the fact is that these people are known terrorists. That, that's the most important thing to bear in mind. So why aren't they locked up? Mm. Not only um, are we allowing them in and really to, to roam about freely, totally unnecessarily, but we're doing it in the knowledge that they pose a serious threat to the security and the safety of people in this country. Mm. That, I, I just, I'm afraid, oh, oh. I do not understand why we can't keep them under lock and key. I don't understand why we can't get rid of them. I'm sorry, but we're being told that they are claiming asylum, so they've got to go through some yeah. form of due process, and that means that, for now at least, they can't be deported. Well, good grief. If they are on terror watch list in other countries, and if they are now under active investigation and monitoring by our security services, do you not think the British public have a right to wonder who the flipping heck we can deport if we can't deport this lot? Well, we, we clearly we can't deport this lot because of our commitments to various international uh, uh, agreements and, and treaties. But that that is an absolute nonsense. Uh, you know, why why do we take them in in the first place in the knowledge that we are bringing in terrorists into this country? Why why can they not be returned to France? because they're not genuine asylum seekers. And if they're not genuine asylum seekers, they would certainly not qualify for any other reason to be admitted into the country. So why we're not doing it, I do not understand. I, I think that the security services and the Home Office have some explaining to do, frankly.